What I'd like to do is to share SAP's Autism at Work story with you today. There's approximately 80% of the people who are on the autism spectrum are unemployed and, uh, in Ireland today, and I guess that is having an enormous uh, cost on, on inclusion, on uh, social welfare, on uh, health services and things like that. Um, but most especially, it is having, uh, I believe, uh, an impact on certainly the mental health and the well-being of people with autism. At SAP, our mission is to help the world run better and improve people's lives. And um, I, I know that what we, we are doing with the SAP, with the Autism at Work program in SAP, is really improving people's lives, and it's certainly groundbreaking work. So if I go into the, uh, the origins of the, of the program, um, my story starts with Feroz Vior. He was the managing director of SAP Labs in India. And back in 2012, Feroz's son was diagnosed with autism when he was uh, two and a half. And Feroz himself and, and his wife, they went through um, different stages of, of the diagnosis from denial um, through to uh, depression, and that's by his own admission as well, and, and finally acceptance. But Feroz is a, is a very determined individual, and he was really determined to ensure that his son has a had a path to education, um, sustainable employment, uh, a financial dependency as well, um, all leading so that he would lead a, a very dignified life and, and also have a sense of security. So he did uh, some research research and he came across an organization called Specialist Stern and Specialist Stern was founded by a Danish guy, uh, Thorst, um, Thorsten, um, sorry, Thorkel's son uh, was the guy's name and Thorkel's son himself was diagnosed in his teenage years with autism and uh, Thorkel also felt what is uh, his son going to do, what kind of a job is he going to get. So he spe set up uh, Specialist Stern with the view to matching roles in uh, companies with people who, uh, who are on the spectrum. So Feroz uh, carried out a pilot uh, with a number of um, uh, candidates from Specialist Stern in India, and he was really delighted with the results of the pilot. And at the same time, Specialist Stern were looking to um, uh, globalize their, their operations. So they had... Um, Feroz had organized a meeting with Thorkel and Peter Brabazon, who will, who will follow me today, um, because they were looking to set up Specialist Stern in Ireland. And uh, I was so blown away by his story, I said, absolutely, let's try this, let's do it. So we also ran a pilot um, with uh, Specialist Stern and, and two particular candidates. Um, and it worked so well that we actually then uh, looked at ways, uh, Feroz and myself looked at ways of uh, how can we make this even scale even, even, even more so. So um, we approached the... Uh, SAP board and they were also um, overwhelmed with the idea and um, more so from uh, uh, on one side from a diversity perspective because SAP truly believes that diversity is a really important aspect um, in, in driving business um, but also uh, then from a talent pool perspective because there, it has to make sense to the business so um, and we believe at SAP that partnering with organizations it's, it's part of our business model that is the way, uh, the way to scale so we partnered um, with Specialist Stern and, and it's really to try and uh, and improve again people's lives back to our mission statement. So we launched the Global Autism uh, at Work program back in 2013 and in the last five years we've hired over 140 people from the spectrum um, and in 12 countries so the program is in, is in 12 countries and by 2020 our goal is to have 650 p uh, individuals with autism on our, on our payroll um, and, and certainly this program has created uh, immense uh, serious um, momentum uh, it, with both within the organisation and outside as well, and we believe we are uh, thought leaders in that space now. But it, it's really about uh, our seriousness, how we are trying to uh, create a very diverse and inclusive uh, culture within the organization, because we know that diversity fuels innovation, uh, all forms of diversity, from ability all the way through to gender as well. And certainly being an inclusive company makes us a, a better company and helps drive business success in this ever-changing digital world as well. So why autism and, and why does it make business sense? Well, I mean, we hire people for all the main reasons why anybody would hire people. It's their skills, and especially around the famous STEAM, the science, technology, um, uh, the arts, the engineering, and, and the maths as well. And of course, we want to have the, the brightest talent. But what we've noticed uh, over the years with the program as well is that there is a huge retention and a significant loyalty with the candidates um, that, we, that we have hired as well. And we see a, a huge desire by these candidates as well 
are to be um, very successful in their roles. Um, when, we, when somebody collaborates or when organizations collaborate with others who have different abilities, um, you get a, a completely different results. You get different skill sets, you get different points of view. You're better able to see different perspectives as well and, and also different possibilities. And it leads certainly to a more purpose-driven work, um, fresh thinking, uh, greater innovation as well and, and, and new ideas. And that's the things that we have seen as well through the program. Um, people uh, with autism, they've certainly shown uh, great resilience. They're, they're very uh, focused. They have great analytical skills as well. And, uh, and not only that, but the impact goes beyond SAP, but out into the businesses and, and into the community uh, from which these people come as well. So it really does make good sense, uh, both for the employees with autism and also for SAP. What we've learned over the years uh, uh, with the program as well is that um, we know that there's a lot of people with autism who have certainly the education and the skills. They go all the way through school and university, and then they just kind of fail at, at the last hurdle, and, and it tends to be at the interview stage. Um, and it's really in partnering with organi an organization like Specialist Stern, where we've learned um, how to, uh, Specialist Stern have given us training in how to address this uh, particular scenario. So it's really to give the, the, the candidates um, every opportunity. Um, people obviously have, have interviews with, uh, or difficulty with interviewing. Um, they fail to make eye contact, for example. And, and Specialist Stern really helps not only prepare the candidates, but also the managers or, or those who are actually interviewing at the time. I'll give you one example. Um, Nick, who, who works with us, Nick um, turned up for the interview in a, in a very brightly colored tracksuit. Um, but Specialist Stern had, had um, advised us that he uses this tracksuit for both sensory and, and for comfort reasons. So when you kind of put that to the, the one side, um, and, and you focus on the skills of the individual, it becomes an awful lot easier. And Nick still comes to work in tracksuits. They're not as colorful, but uh, uh, I think uh, the, his team and his manager understands why, why he does that, and he's been really successful as well. Initially as well, we had identified a few roles that we thought might be a good fit. So you're talking about data entry, software testing, um, service planning, things like that. But over the, the period of time, we've realized that these people, they actually branch into significantly different roles. Um, one colleague, Stephen, uh, as an example, he started with us uh, four years ago, and now he's a manager of a team of 22 people. But not only that, before he was promoted to manager, he was uh, on -site, delivering on-site services and then became an on-site lead as well. And so he, he had quite a, um, an interesting job. I won't call it uh, stressful, but he was interacting with our customers, with our partners, and, and with staff as well. So it, it proved to us that um, employees who, who we've hired through the uh, Autism at Work program have exactly the unvaried uh, skills as, a, um, a, as any other employee. So. Um, Certainly, in order to push a program like uh, Autism at Work, you really need leadership from the top. And, and I was delighted and, and very proud to be able to uh, drive a program like this. We also found a number of uh, colleagues in the organization, uh, one colleague in HR and, and a number of managers who were able to take this, and they were very passionate in order to, uh, to actually drive the program as well. I mean, we all have unconscious biases, there's no doubt about that, and, and I guess it's what it, it, it makes us uh, human. But um, if you embrace a program like Autism at Work, be open-minded and be thoughtful uh, and inclusive, uh, it will definitely work, um, that's for sure. Um, there is certainly everything to gain from this program. Um, you need to engage your people, you need to engage your people managers, you need to work with a partner. Um, and, and setting, uh, I think, the tone through leadership is, is really, really important. It's not a CSR initiative. Um, it, it, there is definitely a good citizen element to the program, but it, it's really about creating a diverse and inclusive culture and a workplace within the organization as well. And this is the one program that resonated the most, I think, with employees. Of all the programs we rolled out in SAP over the years, it's the one that I got uh, the most feedback from employees, and they were delighted that we were doing, as an organization, something like this. So uh, just to, to conclude, um, just to remind you, our, our mission is to, run, uh, to make the world run better and improve people's lives. And I think we have been at the forefront as an organization in creating a, a diverse and an inclusive workplace for many, many years. Um, I'm very proud and privileged to have worked uh, on the program and to have worked with Specialist Earn as well. And I guess my message is, if you have a son or a daughter or a family member or a friend or somebody who is on the autistic spectrum, um, please, uh, we, we see that person as an individual. And, and 
and we're, we're looking for their unique strengths within the organization, within our organization, and for their potential as well. And it's really to try and create a bright future for those particular individuals, and one that is filled with hope and with promise. And um, I know that as SAP employees, they certainly contribute to to the success and will continue uh, to contribute to the, to the success as well. So if you'd like to hear any more about the program, um, you're wel more than welcome to reach out to myself or Kristen. Uh, you can see her email address here as well. Uh, and you'll hear more now from Peter as well. So thank you very much.